This is the start of my boob job journey. She will not be looking like this for long. Good morning vlog. So, oh, this is the start of my boob job journey. I just wanna make a disclaimer that I am not in any way, shape or form promoting plastic surgery or just telling you guys that you need plastic surgery in any way. I just wanna be open and honest about my journey. And this is something that like five years down the line, I wanna look back on and like see me getting it done and like see the vlogs. And also if you are thinking about getting a boob job or something like that, this type of vlog series will be helpful. But if you are the type of person that just hates plastic surgery and you're gonna start hating on me, just leave the video because I don't need any of that negative energy. I'm 23 years old, I'm a grown ass adult. I can make my own decisions and this is something that I am very excited about. Today's vlog is going to be all about me um, getting my, I guess this is like my pre-op appointment i guess well pre-op op is an appointment but basically i'm going to be choosing the size um that i want my boobs to be i'm thinking i definitely want to be in the twos like two something cc i definitely don't want to do 300 cc just because like i'm a very very tiny person and i want them to still look pretty small i don't want them to be huge at all um so yeah sorry i'm like messing with my hair i just i don't know if i like the way it looks today i'm just i don't know not like feeling myself 100% and my eyebrows are a mess, my nails are a mess, a lot of stuff is obviously still not open and I'm gonna be wearing my mask as soon as I get to Beverly Hills, so do not come for me. Also, I already took my COVID-19 test and your girl's negative, so staying safe. But yeah, my eyebrows are a mess, so please don't, don't mess with them, don't, don't come for me, please, just. Just keep it positive. Um, yeah, this is obviously something that's very raw and like vulnerable, I guess. So yeah, again, I just like being 100% open and honest with you guys and there's there's no need for me to hide what I'm doing and just all of a sudden get a boob job and then being like, oh my God, guys, like my boobs just grew. Like, I just wanna be honest with you guys. Anyways, I'm gonna go because I need to get my appointment, so yeah. Also, if you guys are wondering what I'm wearing, I'm wearing this little top from Nasty Gal, Lululemons, and an aloe jacket, because it's kind of chilly this morning. Um, so yeah, let's go. So I'm right outside of the building, and I didn't even tell you guys what doctor is gonna be doing my whole procedure. His name is Dr. Gavami. I actually heard about him through Daisy Keach, as you guys know, love her. Um, literally the first time I met Daisy, I was like, oh my God, like your your boobs look amazing. Like I didn't even know that they were not real. Um, so yeah, that is who is gonna be doing my procedure, Dr. Gavami. I'm very excited. I know that I'm in great hands. Um, I will have his information linked down below for you guys. I want to check him out. But yeah, let's go. Let's go do this. I literally look so crazy with my mask on, but you know, you gotta stay safe. Even if you don't got corona, wear a mask. Wear a mask, hunty. Ooh, this elevator is cute. It's, it's a vibe. Look at my mom's mask. Hi, y'all. Y'all better stay safe. Wear a mask. And stay wear a mask. Wear a corona free. We're the whole free, honey, family got, got tested. Papers. Okay. All tested, go ahead and take a test. Take a test. Take and that even, test. If, even if you feel like you don't have symptoms, like just, just take a test. Take the damn test. Take the test. Okay. Stay safe. Stay safe. <laughs> Look at my mom's OOTD. She business. Look at the movie, she, honey. Okay, it's hard. Wow. I got it for my mama. But yeah, I'm about to meet Dr. Gavami. I'm actually really excited because obviously, like, I've like virtually chatted with him and everything but i've never like physically met him so i'm really excited i also brought a little um like bikini so that when i put on the inserts i can like see the size because again i'm not going to go big at all guys look how cute the room is wow wow guys i'm so excited take a good look at the before flat tt flat 23 year old TT because she will not be looking like this for long. Um, but yeah, the room is really cute. I love like the chairs and stuff. It's happening. 
Wow, we love to see it. So I'm here with Dr. Gavani. Hey, all doing? He is amazing. Um, we're going to be doing the what is it called? The flash, flash recovery breast augmentation. Yeah. Yes. So can you explain a little sure. bit? Sure. So about? so my mentor John Tebbets, who's now retired, created this whole genius technique where you do a specific sequence where when you make the pocket. You don't have any blood vessels in your way that can like rupture, so you don't get any bruising inside or any bleeding inside. That lack of bleeding basically means the blood stays in the vessel where it belongs, so your body doesn't sense danger. So it doesn't think it's going through something traumatic. Yeah. So you don't get a pain response sent to your brain while you're asleep. Mm -hmm. So you wake up without pain and you're able to lift your arms up all the way in the air without needing narcotics, Percocet, Vicodin, Soma, no muscle relaxants, no drain tubes, and no right... Uh, really tight wraps so you don't have to be wrapped like a mummy <laughs> so it's pretty yeah. easy breezy the rest is up to how you heal your genetics we're all made differently mm -hmm. but I would say if I was to guess um, in my patients about 90% can have that experience and based on what I've seen with you with our virtual consult that we mm -hmm. did you're in that 90% you should do just great I'm so okay. excited. Yay. Yay. So we're going to do some measurements now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see what her dimensions are. I'm going to feel the thickness of her tissue because the um, patients that are in shape and thin like her, you don't want to go too big ever. And you really don't want to go too big in anyone because the mm -hmm. bigger you go, it's kind of like when you're blowing bubble gum. The more air you blow, the wall thins out. It starts to lose its color and then it mm -hmm. pops. Mm -hmm. Your skin won't that. pop, but... <laughs> But it will thin out because if you're trying to stretch skin, that skin doesn't come from the air. It's right there. It is what it is. So that skin that's there has to stretch and thin out to accommodate the stretch. Mm. Just mm -hmm. like the uh, mm -hmm. bubble gum when you blow a uh, bubble. So, mm -hmm. so we're going to do the appropriate size so that these last for you as long as possible. And then one day, God willing, you have your five, six, seven, eight kids. <laughs> then they're not going to droop so much, so we'll have to see. I, I envision two to three kids in your future. Oh, I don't no. Know. no, same. Yeah, same. same. In my 30s, not anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have time. <laughs> no babies now. No. Um, but yeah, I'll check back in with you guys, because obviously we're not going to show, you know, yeah. too much. But... Yeah. Sensor. See you guys. Cut See two. you guys in a little bit. <laughs> what is up, guys? So I just finished um, coming home from my pre-op appointment with Dr. Gavami. He's honestly amazing. The entire staff is so amazing. They just made me feel so safe and welcome. Um, and I'm really, really, really excited. Uh, I think we decided on the CCs that I'm getting, like the size. And turns out um, one of my boobs is actually larger than the other boob, uh, which is so interesting. I had no idea. So my left boob is actually a lot bigger than my right boob. So I think we're going to do 265 and 295 CC. And I'm so excited. Um, I definitely didn't want to do 300 cc just because I'm literally so petite that I feel like that would be way too much for my body but I'm excited and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog here I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next vlog bye